Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for coming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Uh. 
I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Officer?
Someone! There, there's been a shooting! Hello? Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Hmm, the Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. There are three new messages. Maybe there's something on there. Maybe there's something on there. 
Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. What's that beeping? Maybe there's something on there. There are three new messages. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window.
Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Just some guy? Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today.
Hey, Sean, I'm going to run on home. My mama's going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay.
Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence! Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Seems like those two are getting along. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. Doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. No shit, damn. 
He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. 
sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Wow! No! 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 take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. 
We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! We're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. <laughs> 
All right, let me know if you want to. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We'll sit tight. Okay. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... More... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Stayed, kid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> How are you doing? 
Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay, well, it's not broken. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? the remote to my dad's TV. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Sector, at least. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. That's what I figured.
Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. around with there a radio I can't get it to work though here let me have a look <sighs> nothing no batteries in this thing what now you know that there are no batteries in that thing yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. No 
I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That place is full of TVs and electronics. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear <laughs> us. Huh? Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't?
I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. actually worked here. I can't reach that brick. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time on the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Seem like that trap guy is going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. I hope he ended up that way and wasn't a living guy who got trapped and then bitten. Jesus, no kidding. The keys are out there for sure. It's doing what Lux do. Searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Let's head back inside. Okay.
Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're... Uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. It's all melted now. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. That's what I figured.
find anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Love parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay.
That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. How's he doing? You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. The pills are in there. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. 
I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. problem. Then I got one pillow and two corpses. An 
age-old problem. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Gonna need weapons. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. We can hide by that pickup. some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to push that window. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Wait. 
me see the spark plug. You know something inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Closing in! over there, head upstairs and get out of here. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Oh! 
Rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. You might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Lynn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Good man. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Here, I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids? How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. If 
try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Have a look around outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Can't reach that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. now, man. I got to do this.
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and wait. 
city. That was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the city of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. Columbus, to Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, Kim. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kim. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? 
You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take you on! There's too many of them! No more, please! 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 Uh.